humiliating people by assaulting them. It is an assault. If you doubt me, try doing it to a policeman. Try doing it to the prime minister or someone that the five P professionals haven't decided is an unperson yet. Police have decided that Tommy is an unperson. And why not? So has Facebook, so has Twitter, so has PayPal, so have the courts who threw him in prison for doing journalism. So Tommy, for sure, but then slightly less controversial people than Tommy started getting assaulted. This guy named Carl Benjamin, who has the online nickname Sargon of a Cat, he's running for the UKIP party. They've milkshaked him too, as the new verb goes. And then Burger King UK, or the woke 20-something leftist who runs their Twitter account, wrote this tweet over the weekend. Dear people of Scotland, we're selling milkshakes all weekend. Have fun, love BK. Just saying. They were a bit oblique, but I don't know if you can see what's going on here. They confirmed it to a few other Twitterers by liking their interpretation that they were actually encouraging assaults on people they didn't like. So that's a multinational corporation based in Brazil, multi-billion dollar company, actually owns Tim Hortons too. And they're saying, yeah, go ahead. Use our milkshakes to assault someone who is unfashionable to the left. And wouldn't you know it, less than 24 hours later, a leftist did milkshake a candidate of the right. Uh, first it was Tommy, then it was UKIP. Now it's Nigel Farage, leader of the Brexit Party, former UKIP leader of the Brexit Party. Actually, polls show will win the MEP elections with the most seats. Now, I'd say that Nigel's actually part of the establishment. But so what? Just like when Hollywood shouted about punching a Nazi in the face, they defined Nazis as anyone they wanted to punch in the face. It was circular that way. So some leftist extremists did just that. Yeah, just an assault. No surprise, it's some loser who was a Remainer, as they call the pro-EU people who lost the referendum election. He's a Jeremy Corbyn Labour fan, so he's a leftist. And like the Democrats in the United States who kept ranting about how Donald Trump isn't our legitimate president, he didn't really win the elections, or the Russians stole it, or whatever. This guy didn't believe Brexit should happen, even though the Leave side won. So he takes to violence now. Now, Farage was restrained and thoughtful. He pointed out in a tweet that democracy only works, let me quote, for a civilized democracy to work, you need the loser's consent. As in, if Obama agreed to leave the office, if the Remain side agreed to accept the leave victory, that's the only way democracy works. That's the thing, like so many rules and customs and laws, the left now only supports those rules and customs and laws when it benefits them. Free speech is an obvious example. They love it for themselves, take it away from their opponents. Democratic votes, obvious example. And now, the rules, customs, and laws against violence. They're selective, it seems like. The media response was instant. Throwing milkshakes at someone is not an act of political violence, says the new statesman. Look at that guy. Of course it's violence. Of course it violates your personal your person, throwing something at someone is assault, it's battery. Uh, throwing something that messes them up is assault, even to its mischief. It doesn't have to deeply hurt you to be violence. It's still illegal, it's still violent. The test is not how badly you hurt someone. It's if you commit a crime deliberately violating someone's personal integrity. And Tommy was the test case, and then was Carl Benjamin of UKIP. So yeah, of course, Nigel Farage is next. It, it did hurt him, though, obviously. It physically dirtied him and his suit. But, of course, the goal was humiliation, which is much worse than a dirty suit. It was personal humiliation in the moment at the place he was, and it was national, international humiliation on video. And that loser thug was thrilled with himself. I effing did it! It was Farage! I can't believe I did it! He was so excited, he was boasting about it. Other media instantly agreed. They were so excited. It wasn't just funny, said the Independent. It's absolutely hilarious. 
but hang on, that, that's violence. It's the, it's the literal definition of violence. But it's fine to the left when it's done to the right. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.